Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you in my favorite Lake Tahoe mug. Yes, I still don't have nails on, but I am forcing her, my ponytail's crooked, um, I am forcing her to put them back on, on, um, what is today? I think today is Wednesday. Um, what is with my hat? Ugh. been quite stressful here the past couple of weeks. I thought I saw something dirty on my counter. Um, anyway, it's been, yeah, it's been a, an excessively stressful couple of weeks here, people. So that's why you've seen a lapse in my videos, um, certainly a lapse on my blog. I'm not even going to get into that, but suffice it to say, and I don't even know if I made this last, um, vlog public or not, but it has been astonishing to me how much I was so excited to buy all of this new technology and great updated equipment for my office and just my life in general. And I'm like, this is so cool. Everybody, everything will be new. It'll be updated. I'm going to be so much more organized and, and efficient because everything's going to be running full speed. And let me tell you, every single thing I bought has a problem. Everything. It's like, it's as if there's like this strange magnetic field within my body that is making nothing work. But it can't be that because there are things that are solely residing online that are just like my blog. It has taken a week, over a week. This is just absurd for me to upgrade from one blogging platform with one company to the same company's other blogging platform and nothing transferred over. And I, I think I've had no less than 15 people trying to figure out whether it was GoDaddy not forwarding my domain correctly and then it was still showing up as my old blog. So then for the past eight to nine days, I have had no idea if my stuff on my blog is being seen on the old blog or on the new blog. I had no idea because when I would call GoDaddy or I would call the blog platform, they're like, no, we're seeing the new blog. And I'm asking everybody else all over the country and they're like, no, we're still seeing your old blog. And I'm like, so all of that has been happening in the midst of, I think I mentioned my brand new iPod that I bought does not work. So it works. And what happens is as I go to the gym and start working out and I want to press stop, um, on the iPod, it just won't stop. So there's no way to stop it. And half the time, there's no way to move to the next song or back. It just kind of freezes. And it's like, no, you can touch me all you want. I'm going to do my own thing. It's brand spanking new. It's the exact model I've had for four years. It's the iPod Classic. So now I have to make a special trip and return that. I think I talked about this on my last vlog, which shows you how I have not had time yet to go over to Target and exchange it because I don't feel like it. I'll probably have to do it today. Um, so first I got my brand new badass computer, set that up in about two seconds, no problem. Then we found out that the external hard drive from my old computer would not be recognized by not only my relatively brand new Toshiba laptop, but by my brand new Windows 8 Dell XPS um, computer. So that's not really either one of their faults. It sounds like it's this um, external hard drive company because when I googled it apparently everybody has this problem at one point where it just stops being recognized and the company offers no technical support they're basically like screw you it doesn't work screw you <laughs> good times so had to reboot up my old computer a million times randomly not randomly manually <sighs> re-download everything from the external hard drive to the old computer then Dropbox that into the cloud, get it onto my new computer, still found things lost. Even, you know, even though I had to like painstakingly do one, one to three videos at a time transfer because of the size of video files. So then I got that up and running. Then I go to set up, remember I told you guys I got a really new badass um, wireless headphone system, headset system, because when I'm at home, I should have brought my phone here so I could show you. I have a landline here when I work from my office and I'm on the phone a lot. Like I tend to have two days of straight phone meetings and to actually hold a phone is a pain. 
Furthermore, I do not use my cell phone at home because if I happen to be standing in this kitchen, I lose every single call. Very odd. Furthermore, I mean, talking on an iPhone is like talking to, it's like putting up a, a pan to your ear. It's just this big, it, it's like talking on something like this. Hello? 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 Hi? Hello? I mean, it's just, it doesn't work. So I wanted to use this headphone, headset system. So I order this badass Jabra wireless Bluetooth headset system that is supposed to be able to, you know, you put your head your headset on whether you just put it in your ear or you can put the thing over it. And then with one touch of the button, you can answer your landline, you can answer your Skype, you can answer your mobile phone, cell phone, whatever you call it. I go to set it up and it of course doesn't work. And after everything else, in light of everything else that's been going on, I'm literally going, <laughs> okay. I'm going to kill someone. And of course, mind you, in the midst of all of this, Aunt Flo was either on the way or just gotten here. So that adds just another level of I'm going to kill someone. So I get on the phone with the Jabra people and I'm like, can you help me? This isn't working. And he's like, do you have it plugged into your corded phone? And I'm like, I don't have a corded phone. Why would I have a corded phone? And he's like, oh, you need to have a corded phone in order for this product to work. Help me understand why you would develop a phone that is supposed to be Bluetooth and wireless. And yet, in order for the Bluetooth badass wireless system to work, you have to go out and buy a phone that most people haven't had in their homes for probably the past 15 years. An old-fashioned corded phone with the buttons on the heads, uh, headset, is that right? Or the base set, not the, you know, not the where you pick up the phone. Some of you were, were not even born before there were actually phones like this, where they were corded to the wall and you picked it up and you would dial on the phone like this. No. You can't even have that. You have to have the kind of old-fashioned phone that you dial on the headset like this and go, I actually had to go to Walmart and find a corded phone in order to make my Bluetooth wireless phone function. How does that make any sense? I don't know. But as you can see, I'm getting rather animated about it because you have no idea the amount of hours I have put in the past two weeks just trying to get my office to function. And it's supposed to be saving me time with all the thousands of dollars we've spent on this stuff. So furthermore, and then of course the new iPhone doesn't have a Mophie that goes with it. So it's not being released until the end of this month, which means that me being the chargeaholic person that I am, which who cannot stand when this button goes down. If you use the iPhone 5 for like one conversation, you're down to 75% battery. Another conversation, you're screwed. Instagram a couple times, you're screwed. You have to run in and charge it all the time. That pissed me off too. So let's see, iPod broken, iPhone 5 kind of sucks. Jabra Bluetooth wireless headphone system requires a corded phone. My brand new um, Dell XPS um, computer was great. And then the third day after it asked me to do a simple Windows update, um, just wouldn't work the next day. So I had to call technical support for that because apparently it screwed up the BIOS, BIOS, however you say it, BIOS, BIOS. Um, this is like laying funny. Um, what else doesn't work? Um, my iPhone, my iPod, my wireless system, my new computer. Um, is there anything in here that hasn't worked yet? I'm not quite sure. So all that to say, it's been rather frustrating around here because something hasn't worked at one time or another. Oh, and then on top of that, I go to work out on Sunday and I'm heading to the gym and my garage door breaks because the coil snapped. So I couldn't get out of my own garage. Um, yeah, so I had to have someone come out and fix my garage door. So I'm trying to think, has anything else broken? The heat works. Um, yeah, it's been that kind of week. Here's me, cheers, cheers to you for me just bitching and moaning about nine minutes, nine minutes and 10 seconds. I'm sure that you all enjoyed that, but I had to explain why I got to the end of the year and said, oh, I'm gonna be vlogging and vlogging regularly. There's a reason why. So blog problems, massive blog problems with probably 15 different people working on it. And it's still really, I don't even know that we really have closure yet. Blog problems, iPhone, iPod, computer, what am I missing? Phone system, and, um, well, we won't even get into the whole iTunes thing, that when you get a brand new iPhone, half of the stuff doesn't play in iTunes unless you actually have your 
iPhone physically connected to your computer because it's like, oh, remember when you took all of your DVDs years ago and transferred it to iTunes so that you wouldn't have to have DVDs anymore? Yeah, it's a new computer, so we're just not going to recognize all that stuff. And now you have to go find your DVDs. Oh, you threw those away or you donated them to the library? You don't have them anymore? Sorry, you have to buy it now. I don't think so. <sighs> okay, that said, I would say for the most part outside of all of that, Things are going really well. Um, I'm going to be going to the gym tonight for legs, which I am going to reference my new whiteboard. Um, I'm really big into whiteboard stuff, people. Um, I have the most massive whiteboard in my office for work stuff, which I can't show you because it has confidential information on it. But um, I also ordered my new badass huge I wonder if I have a clean office, if I could show you. That might need to be a separate video anyway, because you guys have been asking me if I would do that. I will do that. I will give you um, a peek at my new huge, that's almost covering a whole side of a wall, vision board, which I really need to go look at right now because talking about all these technology issues has really gotten me in a bad mood. But this is the, I used to use this small whiteboard for something else, but now I'm using it for writing out my schedule each week and trying, and also making sure, as you can see down here, can you see this? Meal one, meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four. So I, I write down when I've had my meals because even still, um, I can still get really busy sometimes during the day and I won't remember, even though Michael is usually texting me going, did you eat, did you eat? This way I can write down how many meals I've had um, so that I make sure I'm eating. It still is a big challenge for me sometimes to remember to eat, and I know that sounds funny. Um, but then what I do at the beginning of the week is um, I touch base with Michael and I see when he's available so that when, when we can train together at the gym, because there's certain things I like to do when I'm with him. Other than that, I can do it on my own. But then what I do is I map out when I'm doing cardio, when I'm doing cardio at home, when I'm gonna do cardio at the gym, when I'm gonna do what body parts, when I'm working out with Michael. So that way I can look at the whole week and map it all out. And I pick certain times, um, I'd say maybe 60 to 70% of the time maybe, let's say 60, 65. Um, I work out at the gym and then I also take time to use my favorite DVDs that I have for at home which I have now taken the time to organize. I went back, oh, that was the other thing that was broken, my label maker, there you go. I was trying to la label all of my um, DVDs that I have from home, a lot of the Beachbody stuff and then other DVDs I bought, but trying to label them for the ones that I didn't remember, like, oh, this is Rev Abs, Rev It Up Cardio, how, you know, how long is that? Is that a 20 minute workout? Is that a 30 minute workout? Is it just cardio? Is it cardio and weights, whatever. So I was going and I labeled each one, um, and some of them that I've done, I'll write down how many, like what the ca what the caloric burn is. So whether it's like a really intense cardio, whether it's not. Um, but I got all that done, and I took out the the stuff that I would not do. Like there was one of these Tony Horton one on ones that was strictly um, pull ups and push ups or something. But I'm like. I don't, right now in this house, I don't have a pull-up machine. Still can't do unassisted pull-ups, so I'm never gonna do that. Just get it out of the way. If you're not using it, just get it out of the way. So I got all this organized. And then I've told you guys in the past that I have probably over the years, I have about a total of 100, more than 100 now actually, um, DVDs for workouts when I wanna work out at home. That said, some of the things that I used to love and do. I used to only work out at home for a while and then I only worked out at the gym. Then I went back the past couple of years because I was having issues and didn't want to be at the gym um, because again I was just paranoid about everything being hard on myself. So I worked out only at home. Um, but now that I'm doing a combo of both I've kind of narrowed down. I actually have two, I hope this isn't, this is gonna fall. Hold on. I have two boxes that were in these two boxes of this size, okay, that had reams of paper in them, of my DVDs, my workout DVDs for at home. And what I've done 
is I've taken the ones that I don't regularly use now. I might have loved them at one time, but they, they're not serving my purposes now. And I've made every, I've put everything that I regularly want to use for cardio or weight training at home, and it's all in this box. So I've got, and, and I'll do, I have a, some more stuff coming on the way from Kathy. <laughs> so I will do a more um, maybe in-depth video just on, on DVDs that I recommend and that I like and why, because you guys have asked about that as well. But since I've spent so much time bitching today, I'll just give you a preview. But I have this like nice container that I've put all my P90X uh, videos in here. I, I don't, I don't tend to do P90X. Um, you know, I, I think P90X is great if you're if you're just getting into a, a weight training program. But I kind of have been there, done that. I do love his um, Plyo. Um, I think the yoga is a good one. It's 90 minutes. Um, but I tend not to use the P90X weight training because he's. it, it, it seems to me it's just more kind of strictly, um, from what I remember, isolation. It's kind of like, you know, and then after you've done that, it's like you want something a little different. To, and, and, and a lot of what I'm doing, I just want overall, when I look at my overall package every week, every month, I want variety. I don't want my muscles and my, my body to be expecting the same thing all the time. It certainly is something I've been guilty of in the past. So I, I just tend not to do P90X. I'm not razzing on it. It's just something I tend not to do. Um, Rev Abs is something I've had for a while, as you know, and I really like his stuff. In fact, I'm going to be in New York next week and next Thursday, the 31st, if you're in New York, you should join us because we are... Um, I'm going to be hustling for my meeting to make it, but we're doing a workout with Brett Hobel and some of my Fit Flanchel peeps. So if you want to email me about that and you think you can make it, um, email me. It's going to be at a 24-hour fitness, um, but you can email me, K-E-L-L-Y-O-L-E-X-A at gmail.com, and I'll give you the details. Um, I don't have unlimited room for people, so let us know um, as soon as possible. So got all those. Of course, as you know, this is a recent purchase, which I am absolutely addicted to. Not surprising because I'm a huge kickboxing fan, and I can't believe that I'm such a late adapter and just figuring out this, but here's what I'm gonna give you. So I, I just got the massive turbo fire system, and I have known so many people that have done this and loved it, and I was like, oh, okay. The thing is, here was what my original exposure to this is. I might add, Shalene Johnson gave me this hat. Just saying. Um, I, my friend Jessica got pregnant and she had just ordered this. And so she knew she wasn't gonna be doing this kind of high intensity workout. So she said, I'll lend you my turbo fire um, and let me know if you like it, blah, blah, blah. So she sent it to me to lend it to me while she was pregnant. And it was right when I had injured my shoulder. So I remember I took one of the workouts out and I was trying to do punching and this left shoulder was so bad that I couldn't even punch. And so I just never went back to it. Really silly because I just did the first workout earlier this week and I'm totally in love. It's totally fun, the music's awesome. So I have like so many new workouts, which is gonna be awesome. These are of course more cardio-y, obviously, kickboxy. Um, and then in the rest of here, I've got a ton. I have a whole side, all Kathy Frieder videos, which I have just loved forever. If you've been reading my blog, you know I've written about her forever. She has the best. I have my Ilaria, which I love. I actually have five DVDs from her, but I really just do Power Strikes because that's my favorite one. Um, and then I have some old school Tybo, the advanced Tybos, which I love because they're really hard. I don't tend to think that his newer stuff is... is um, intense and I don't like that. Then of course, very excited to be diving into this because as I took a closer look, this is Kathy's new X-Train stuff, as I, I was diving into this um, and reading what each workout is, I was like, not that I'm surprised, there's so much, I think I told you guys, there's over 140 premixes in here. There's nine DVDs, over 140 different um, Premixes of this stuff, not to mention what you could do on your own. Um, but like, I didn't even realize that there were all of these kind of detailed summaries, written summaries of what each one of the workouts is. Because I had seen, like, oh, there's chest, back, and shoulders, and then there's chest, back, and shoulders in like a, a burnum um, thing. There's buys and tries, chest, back, and shoulders, um, and then there's burn sets. So for like the burn sets, <clears throat> she says this. 
X-Train workout consists of two additional upper body heavyweight workouts, chest, back, and shoulders, and buys and tries. This workout also contains options for working individual muscle groups for those of you that want and need a shorter workout. In burn sets, you'll work each muscle group in its entirety before moving on to the next muscle group. You'll usually do three sets for each exercise with a goal of around 10 reps for your first and second sets. On your third set, you'll always lift to failure. After your third set, you'll do a burn set finisher to really feel the muscles heat up. So this is like slaughter of your muscles, which is cool. Um, but all that to say, and then she has this, this super cuts video. It's um, low impact metabolic circuit that mixes functional training with compound exercises, dynamic movement, variation of exercise sequences, angles, movement patterns, rev speeds, and equipment. <laughs> She's so badass. Um, there's a legs one in here, which is great. But what's really nice about this is <clears throat> I love training at the gym, especially when I can train um, <clears throat> with Michael and then I can go heavy because I've got a spotter. But I also like knowing that I've got my really hardcore workouts for when I wanna work out at home. Because sometimes, you know, it's just, it's nice to not leave the house at night. So what I do is map out the week in advance. What I've done a lot in the past, I gotta shut up, is um, too much of just, you know, getting to Thursday or Friday and going, mm, what do I feel like doing today? And, and then just doing whatever I feel like. And there was no plan, there was no consistency, there was no balance. Um, and now it's all about making sure that I'm hitting all of my body parts, making sure I'm getting in my cardio, making sure I'm getting in my stretching. Todd Baumgartner taught me so much, um, so many new stretches, and, and I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but I'm taking so much more time before and after my workouts to stretch and it's it's changing everything. Um, my body is changing, my the shape, the just everything about, everything is, I'm feeling really good. Um, the scale is moving slowly. It's not going up, but it is just like, of course, it's also I'm in the middle of that time of the month. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next two weeks when we finish. Um, but that said, I can just see differences in, in my body can feel differences in my body every day. Um, for the most part, I feel great getting to bed earlier, waking up earlier, um, and my attitude's in just a really good place, other than the technology issues. The technology issues <sighs> exhausted me. So that said, I'm going to go take a nap. Just kidding. <gasps> I have a call I have to do, so I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully we are back to normal programming now. Let's hope because clearly I just rambled on for 22 minutes, so things are back to normal.